Yeah, I'm just gonna test the microphone real quick. Just gonna make sure that first, the screen's working. Second, well, I'm not dying. Right, let's see. So, microphone's working fine. Resolve's working fine as well. Now, just let me touch up this and transitioning. Right, there we go. Sweet. So, hello everybody, we're back with some more Stinger Suffering, because yes, I love making Stingers, I love making Stingers for OBS on DaVinci, I love crashing five times on a stream. Let's see, uh... So, this is not it. I think I've... Yeah, here it is. So, I know kind of what to do for the stinger. I just don't... I just don't know. I just don't remember how to make it transparent because I know it has to make uh, to be done with that transparent video. Let's see. Main and this is going to be on 30 frames. Because if it was on 24, we would be screwed. Ah, yes. Erase this. It's on 24k. Uh, remove timeline, yes. Uh, delete U2. File. Project settings. 30 frames per second is what we want. Change. Now, new fusion comp. Main again. And we're back at it again with the funny. Oh, it's sweet. So, what to do for a stinger, if I remember correctly? So yes, I'm gonna have the tutorial for this on the background because I don't remember how to make it transparent. Let me check this real quick. Let's uh, just get started here. Uh, I have DaVinci returns for a second. I'm guessing most people are going to be streaming. 60. The fusion is going to be a little off. I'll check the frame count. It's going to be off a little bit. Fusion, yeah. But in here, yeah, fusion first, composition. Just do the funny. There. I could zoom in. Once we're in print, but... So we're first going to grab this little guy here. Okay, he, he always assembles here. it at and the end. So let me skip forward a little. There are a couple of other things here that are going on with this. As you can see that there is... Okay, here. Found it. So he exports it and we just have as, location. Mm, as an MOV, as an MOV file. And then once we're done with that, we just click add to render. Yeah, and they render we it. Have our little file here, we can open up OBS and we just have to go into where the we just have to pick the location in which we have it stored. Transition itself, we can add it in. And remember that we had uh, the middle point was the 30, 30th frame. So just make sure you're on frame 30. And then we'll come down and then we can go test. And there we are. Now it goes from one to the other. Uh, the only other thing that you might want to do is you might want to take this from the current file that it is and turn it into a VB9, also the also known as like the WebM files, because those are okay. Uh, export this. So name, hold up. So say, keep down a little bit, and that looks good as well. A little more adjustments could prop. Um, so for project name. So now that we've done that, we have our whole uh, added. 
gotta find where he where it is that they make it transparent i remember that and there's a part of this let's see whiff on this ever so slow we're gonna be adding it all in before it goes into this merge right so uh let's grab a it gets here at the start so we're first going to grab this little guy here this is a background node and so to, to view this, we just have to drag it up and I can view it up here. Okay. Clicking on, we can get all our options here. But if you are on a Mac, this is going to look slightly different. Um, but if you're on Windows, that's what it looks like you want to. Next, we're just going to grab a little uh, rectangle here, the little rectangle mask. We drag it down. It's here now. Whatever that particular node make this blue, viewing, it's going to go from the out. Oh, fuck. So clicking and frame rate you can change it uh, some of the stuff when we get into fusion is going to be a little off I'll try to make a reminder at least here at the beginning uh, and then you're gonna have to continue that because the uh, the frame count is going to be off a little bit next I'm just making this super simple we could go right into fusion but first we're just going to make a fusion comp here and in the dirt okay they our, make a fusion composition now it's up here in our media pool and so if your media pool is not open, you just open it up with mine, as you can see there. I could zoom in and see that here. Now, there's nothing there, so let's jump over into Fusion. Once we're in Fusion... Okay. So Fusion time. Media out. Let's see. This and the rectangle mask. You go here and you go here. Okay, so it is transparent by default. K. Okay. But that's not what I'm concerned about. What I'm concerned about is exporting it transparently because, well, you know, it kind of has to be transparent. Hmm. Well, for now, let me adjust the length of the stinger here on the timeline so I don't mess up beforehand. Let's see, four seconds. Now. P emitter. P directional. P render. Output, this is going to be the input camera, effect mask, let's see, this is the emitter. So that's the emitter, then not gonna touch the lifespan very much. Style, uh, blob, add some noise maybe, nope. And gone, make it something like this, make it slightly bigger. Yeah, that way we can see it here. And then... Hmm. Seed, region, settings. Man, I wish I could bind the color to, well, the background color, but we can't always get what we want, can we? Let's see, P emitter. I 
it starts like this and then I have to kill the lifetime before it gets too harsh let's see 10 seconds I mean 10 frames I think it would be uh, no. 50 50 frames would be good so you'd have to spread them a little bit just so they don't look off Yeah, keep it like this, and then your frame one one nineteen, your frame sixty, your frame thirty. So here is what I where I wanna keep the the funny sort of if I want to do this correctly. <laughs> uh, man, I should charge money for this. Too bad I am not a greedy person. Let's see, can I make this bigger? Question mark. Oh yes, I can. Sweet. Oh yeah, I can. But let's make this three eight because octagons Ooh, that one would, that one would also be good. Oh, this one would look sick. Yeah, because it starts like this. And then it just scrolls away. Oh, fuck. Yeah, maybe that would be a good idea. Yeah, and then by frame 30. Here we just kill the number and kill the lifespan. No number, no lifespan. Hmm. Yeah, because they start here and then here is where it should become significant enough for the effect to not be noticeable. Then I have to leave a marker about here at frame 90. Hold up, let me mark this. So exit, back to fusion, frame 30. Not, not, not that one, uh, mint. Yeah, because now I can see for sure if I'm doing the effect correctly. And I know what time marks I have to keep, keep in mind, you know? All right, let's see. So here, frame 60 is the one I want to focus on the most. In fact, I'm going to put a, ye a yellow marker. In fact, I'm going to rename it transition point done. Yeah, so this is the start of the fade of the quote unquote fade. This is the transition point. This is the end. Although Yeah, it keeps us scrolling up to here. And by frame 90 is pretty much gone. Hmm, no. Nah. Could make it so that instead of by frame 30, is this frame where it starts dying off. And then instead here is where it dies off. 
where, where it slowly starts decaying yeah, because then it emits the things and then the things slowly start disappearing I believe that would be good. Maybe. Hmm. Curious. Curious. Right, let's see. So I have this done. Now I have to worry about certain stuffs. Such as the background and well the background is one thing. Particles, however, are not one thing I have to worry about. Let's see. Color controls are done. Wish I could add effects to them, though. Oh, yeah, add some blue variants. Not so much green. And obviously not so much red. And then just alpha variance for some of the particles to be not as visible. Oh yeah, now that now they are a little bit now they are a little bit more varied. Pick screen color. And now I have that done and The particles look sort of decent. My only concern now is the is the directional force. Let's see. So instead of point instead of that much, I could do point zero zero one. No. Nah. Point zero one is gonna be better. Yeah, because then it then it drags itself off more naturally. Though I wish there was a little bit more spread, you know. Uh, not this. So style done region. gonna put this at zero and then you are minus 0.5 and then you are minus 0.52 why it comes from a corner there's a sweep and then all the colors fade away yeah that's nice enough I think hmm yeah, that's good enough. That's very good, in fact. But... That is but one effect done out of many that I need. So by frame 15, I'm gonna need the rectangle. And fast noise, then a merge. Merge node for ground. 
background mask and then close this add a merge you on the foreground you on the background you here How do I make this? Oh shit, hold up. Wait. Dude. Dude, there's no way I found out how to do it. Bro. Bro. This shit's gonna be crazy. Alright, let's see. Yeah, because... Brother in Christ. If you will. Yeah, we could do that, and then for scale, yeah, increase the seeth rate a bunch, and then, oh, fuck, oh, shit, that would be nice, that would be nice. Solve. Uh, lighten, darken, no, difference, nah. Normal, um, okay, cool. In, top, stencil, under, over, and this joint maybe subtractive additive zero blend whatsoever no 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 I'm, I'm missing it up over sorry gonna have to m map you to this too Let's see, soft edge. Mm, looks decent. Looks very decent. Hell yes, baby. Yeah, because now we can simply just have this here hidden. Then here in frame 15. Uh, hold up, where, where's the 20? 0.5. 0 here. 0 here. Reset the angle. Oh, I 
know how to do this. Shit, hold up. I have a better idea. This, 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 and soft edge all the way. Yeah, like a sort of dark sun. here and then by frame 30 yeah it would expand very rapidly oh shit yeah like an explosion seems to work yeah because it not only moves but it also expands the only concern I have now is well this happening is the stream still running yes hopefully yeah it's still running it's just a bit unstable but we can work with this Okay, so the idea is here, and then let me make the background harmonize a little better. So let's see, make this slightly bigger, 200, 200 would look okay-ish, 400 would look slightly better. The alpha is what worries me though. Sorry, make this a darker shade of... Make this a darker shade of purple so that there's a little bit of color. Meanwhile, color controls always got alpha. Nice. No fade, no merge. Wait, no, there is merge. But merge is not my concern, okay. Frame 30, it has to be filling the screen. Shit, did you die? Yeah, it died. Oh my god. Please come back. <laughs> 